Hi, I'm Molly from Along the River Homestead, and today I will be trying to make butter. First, you're going to need um, a jar with a lid, heavy whipping cream, and a pinch of salt. We're going to fill the jar half full with the heavy whipping cream. And this is where if you want to add salt, you can add it to your jar. Screw your lid on. Next, you're going to shake what your mama gave you and dance with the jar for 10 to 15 minutes. It will eventually separate into a lump of fat and milky liquid. Now that I'm done shaking the jar with the help of my mom and stepdad, mainly stepdad, you can see that the fat has separated with the heavy whipping cream. Now you're going to take the lump of fat and put it on the paper towel. Now this is what your lump should look like and now we're going to squeeze out any excess liquid. Now that you have squeezed out the excess liquid, it's time to taste it. Oh, I didn't think it would turn out this good. Now you cover up your dish and put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it again. This butter you just made will last three to five days room temperature. And if you choose to refrigerate it, it will last seven to 10 days. If it lasts that long. Here's what goes on while you're making butter. Cream is a mixture of tiny blobs of fat spread evenly through, the, through a milky liquid. When you shake the cream, the tiny blobs of fat bump into each other. The more you shake, the more they bump and join together. Eventually, they turn into butter. If I can make butter, so can you. And also, the excess liquid in the jar is buttermilk, so you can use it for baking. We'll see you in the next video.